Hello and welcome to A VO's Journey. Today we are going to be talking about online casting sites and how you can take full advantage of them in a way that you might not be doing. So stick around so that you can learn all you can, all right? Let's do it. So this show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. Welcome. It's good to be back on Monday. It is the 29th of November. We are almost to December. The holiday, uh, the holidays are upon us. They are here. Hopefully you're doing well. I want to talk to you today about utilizing online casting sites, especially right now, and all the different types uh, of the sites that are out there, and to utilize this kind of method that I've been using that's been helping me succeed, I think, tremendously on these sites in a different sort of way than you would normally think. So most of these sites, for example, pay-to-play sites, freelance sites, all of them are dependent on a couple of things. One, right, that you get auditions and you audition. Uh, another one that, you know, you uh, create a profile, post a sample of your voice or your demo, and, you know, they'll contact you. Or that you send proposals. You know what I mean? Um 99 or 95 to 99 percent of these online sites, they are basically all about you doing something, you taking action, right? You doing a proposal, you doing an audition. But I want to give you a different idea about it. I've talked about this a little bit, but I do this literally, that's all I do, and it served me very well. So, as you know, we can audition like crazy people and not get very far. And I've always been one of those people when I first started in my acting career uh, as an actor on the stage and then a, a, a director, then a casting director, and then, you know, coming to a teacher and then, of course, voiceover, you know, their auditioning was the way to go. But the thing with auditioning is, is that when you were doing it on the stage, for example, you'd go usually if you were going to a cattle call audition, there would be, you know, 50, 100 different casting directors there watching your one audition. That was good leverage, right? But for what we do, we literally have to audition and our one audition is hopefully seen by one person and half of the time it's not even listened to. Right. So it's a very um, small uh, there is barely no leverage there at all. So what I like to do and what I recommend you do, especially this this uh, holiday season, is to really focus on adding as many as many demos, as many as single spots from your demos. Even if you can't make an entire demo, you know, you make one spot Share as many of those, put as many of those on online casting sites. If you're on Voices.com or Voice123 or Voquint, fill them out until the website says, please do not post any more samples. We get it. Do whatever you can do. Fill it all. Here's the thing. These are massive search engines. Okay, and we're talking about pay-to-play sites right now. Um, although Vocuin's not a pay-to-play site, um, it's an online casting site. It's more of an intermediary kind of site. But just sites, uh, e e even Fiverr or um, Upwork, okay, uh, any of these sites, people per hour, they allow you to post your demos and samples. But most people stop at one or two or three or four, and then they just dive into what the site offers. Here's another perfect example, ACX for audiobooks. Okay, we might post one or two things, but then we dive into the buyer's requests or the auditions or the proposals, right? We don't ever expand the amount of samples or demos that we have on there for a variety of reasons. I think one, creating a demo uh, from, you know, just from scratch and you doing it is daunting. Um, but nowadays, one read can be considered a demo. You know, it used to be you needed six or seven spots, and it still works, of course. But I think now with everything being so fast and people being able to make up their minds or they're wanting to move, 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 one read, okay, that's produced fully, you know, that's 15, 30 minutes or 15, 15, 30 seconds long, right, could be your demo. It doesn't have to be five or six spots, or maybe it's two or three spots now. Do you know what I'm saying? So what I'm, po what I'm saying here is on all of these sites, whether it's pay to play, whether it's freelance sites, whether it's intermediary sites, whatever it is, okay, audition sites, put up as many 
as many demos, as many spots as you can on these sites, literally until they tell you not to or the website doesn't let you put any more up. And the reason why we do this is because you are going to get way more leverage putting up one spot or one demo than you would doing tons of auditions. Because that website and these websites, they want to act as search engines. Okay. They want because it's easier for them to maintain the site and everything. But for us, it's easier for us to get in front of more people instead of that off chance that that one person that we auditioned for is going to see it or is going to listen to it because a lot of times they don't even get to listen to it. So that means we've spent that time and energy for doing nothing. And then no one ever sees that. That audition just goes to the wayside. Now, if you happen to be using those auditions and posting them, all right, you got to check with your particular website's rules because they'll have rules on that. But that's not a bad way to do it as well if that website allows you to. But the point of this video is to tell you that if you are not putting up as many gigs, as many samples, as many demos as you can on every single website that you find, you're not getting as much business as you could. Because here's the thing. Imagine if you put up as many demos as you could create. Let's just say you spent a month or two months just creating. Every day you're creating more and more spots. All right, you posting them on multiple websites and multiple websites. As you do this, you're going to start getting more work, okay, because a site over here is going to get you work. A site over here is going to get you a job. A site over here is going to get you a job. A site. You don't need one site to give you all the work when you can have loads of sites bringing you work here and there. Add all that up. You've got a heck of a lot of business. And there are some people who are doing this and really utilizing it. So moving forward, Make sure that you are not just doing proposals, doing auditions. Don't get me wrong. I didn't say you shouldn't do them. I'm just saying that you should be focusing just as much or even a little bit more on making sure that all of these sites, these websites, you have put as many demos, as many spots as you can on them until they literally tell you no. Please don't anymore. You've reached your max limit. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you again, you hit that like and subscribe button. Also check out Avio Journey Elite Academy. We're growing. It's an amazing group where we get together. We meet five times a week. We learn how you can start and grow your voiceover business. We have five different coaches that go over marketing. We go over voice acting. We go over business systems. We go over pro, uh, production and technical. So it's a great place to um, you know really learn this craft, really learn, like I said, how to start and how to grow and make more money. Check out the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.